So we're going to start with appliquing her legs, number 15 and 16, and we're going to stuff these. And I just use the littlest amount of stuffing that I, that I can because these are really small pieces. And I'm grabbing my chopstick and I'm going to use the smaller end to put the stuffing in. And I do this for both legs, I'm just showing you the first leg. No fancy appliques or beads on her right here, just stuff. Uh, stuffing and appliquing. Okay, I'm just pushing it around, making sure it's not too, um, making sure that the, it's evenly distributed. Next we put on the skates, and as you can see, the black is a back stitch, and the the shoelace is a cording. I use one strand for the cording for each skate. And the lines, basically you kind of lace it up like a shoe, so that's pretty much what I did. Okay, starting with the skirt, the instructions were a little complicated. Told me to do the, out, the, to do the embellishment the beads and sequins, um, and then it said to add the trim of the dress, and then applique, applique it to the stocking, but keeping the lace part of it, the white part, unattached. So I kind of had to fiddle around with it a little bit, just to kind of, sort of, get the result that I wanted. Because <laughs> the instructions were a little bit vague, um, I had to kind of figure it out for myself. But I like the way it turned out, and what's interesting is even though even though the bottom isn't appliqued, these pieces are still stuffed. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff these. Okay, so here's it completely appliqued, and I did stuff it. And I stuffed it enough to where it won't fall out. So about three quarters of it is stuffed, and then the rest of it is just kind of hanging. And I did this with all the pieces. So here is the next piece. I'm just showing you they kind of stack on top of each other. And then here's a good look at the back. You can see the stuffing still, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, I think I ended up going back and tacking it down with a couple of stitches just so I knew that the stuffing wouldn't go anywhere. So here's a bigger piece. Um, the stars are straight stitched and then the curves on the bottom, the white, are outline stitches. And um, this piece is separate. It attaches to the white trim which then attaches to the bottom. So I had to kind of maneuver it. Okay, so here's the middle piece, same thing here. We've got the trim on the bottom with the crimson piece which I will attach to the red part. And then the middle stitch where it goes down in the middle is an outline stitch. Two strands of, I think it's like a crimson color. So I'm just going to place this where I want it, and then I'll stuff it. Okay, so I just pinned it down with a couple of pins, and um, I just um, want to make sure that it's in the right spot. And there's, there's that piece. It's kind of funky. But I can see what they're, what they're trying to do. They're trying to show the underside of the skirt, so that makes sense. Okay, so I'm actually going to applique this and then stuff it. So here's a closer look at the crimson pieces. This one's a little more complicated. So you've got the crimson there and the white trim. And I appliqued that first. And then once that's appliqued, then I added an the, the second crimson piece on top. Because this part kind of layers on top of each other the opposite way the other side is. So I'm just showing you how to put this one together in particular. It's kind of, it almost reminds me of a, of a puzzle a little bit because it's not very straightforward and even the instructions are a little bit, a little bit on the vague side. And then here's the rest of the dress for this piece and that goes on top of that. 
I hope that wasn't too confusing. It took me a while to figure out how to put it together. If you need to rewatch it, please be my guest and rewind and rewatch this part because it's a little complicated. So that's the last piece of the dress and that's uh, what it looks like completely appliqued on the stocking itself. And I did go back and I did add a few tack down stitches. You can kind of see where I put them. This isn't required, but I just felt like I wanted to have it tacked down a little bit more. And it still gave me the freedom of the lace on the bottom, so that's kind of what I wanted to go for. So that's what the dress looks like. And here is the, I guess it's like the, the fluffy part. I don't know what you'd call it, but. Um, so these beads are a little different. They're kind of like a, like a, like a circular tube. I'm sure there's a name for them. If you know the name of these particular beads, let me know. Because I can't think of a name for these. So we're beading them two at a time. Just like that. And you're going to go along the little... They kind of look like confetti. You're going to uh, go along the confetti lines and then fill that up. Okay. So this has a backing, a separate backing. And we are stuffing it. And then once the, once it's put together... Then we add it on to the dress. And I'm using a tack down stitch for this one. I still want it to have that dimensional feel. So the less stitches here, the better. Make sure you have a couple of pins to pin down your project to make sure that it doesn't move around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you want to see more. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I've got wonderful tutorials on all kinds of kits. So check those out. And this is what we have so far. Um, in my next video, I will be finishing the skater girl. So we'll be doing her bodice and her face and her arms. And then we're gonna put the rest of the stuff on the stocking, um, including snowflakes and um, the backing. So please check that out. Make sure that you uh, have the notification bells turned on. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.